Hi, welcome to this Corbin Maths video on coordinate geometry. In this video, we're going to focus on coordinate geometry questions that involve ratio. So here we've got a question that says the line ABC is a straight line and the point B is on the line such that the ratio of A to B to B to C is 3 to 7. So in other words, B is not in the middle of the line, it's closer to A than it is to C. And we've been asked to work out the coordinates of the point B. And so if I was to do this question, the first thing I would do is I would consider the x coordinates of the point A and the point C. And as you can see, they are 30 apart. You know, we'd go 30 across to get from A all the way to C. Now I know that this line AC is in the ratio of 3 to 7. But that also means that horizontally, the distance from B from A and C, it would be in the ratio of 3 to 7. So it means that if I divide this line of 30 in the ratio of 3 to 7, I can work out how far across B is from A, and then if I wanted to go on to C, how much further I would have to go. So let's consider the ratio of 3 to 7. So we're going to do 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. And then we're going to take the distance horizontally, which is 30, and we're going to divide 30 by 10. And when we do that, we get 3. Now the line's in the ratio of 3 to 7, so we're going to take the 3 and we're going to multiply it by 3 and we're going to multiply it by 7. And when we do that, we get 9 and 21. So it means the point B is on this line here, so that horizontally it would be 9 across from the point A, and then we would go in over 21 across. Can't see that very well. So we're going over 21 across and we would get to the point C. And let's just test that actually. So if we were at that minus one, if we went nine across, we would get to here. So this is going to be the point eight something. Then if we went in over 21, we would get to the point C, which is 29. Okay, let's consider vertically now. So A's got a height of two and C's got a height of 12. So that means the difference in their heights is equal to 10. Now, we know that obviously the line AC is in the ratio of 3 to 7. So again, not just horizontally will this line be in the ratio of 3 to 7. This line can also be divided in the ratio of 3 to 7. And that will help us find how much higher than the point A, the point B is. Okay, so if we take 10 and we divide it by, well, 3 plus 7 is 10. So if we divide it by 10, we're going to get that's equal to 1. And 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And 1 times 7 is equal to 7. So that means that this line will be 3 and 7. So that means that the point B is going to be 3 higher than the point A. So that means that it's going to be, well, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And it means that if we go another 7 up, we're going to get to C. And that actually is correct. If we add 7 onto 5, we get to 12. So the point B is the point 8, 5. That's it. OK, let's have a look at another question now. OK, let's have a look at our second example now. So our second example says ABC is a straight line and the ratio of A to B to A to C is in the ratio 2 to 3. So in other words, from A to B is two parts, and A to C the whole way would be three parts. And we've been asked to work out the coordinates of the point C. Now, there's two ways to do this, and I'm going to look at it using both techniques. So first of all, let's have a look at the first technique. So let's consider the x coordinates of A and B. So to get from A to B horizontally, we would go six across, because from one to seven would be six. Now let's consider the whole way across from A all the way across to C. Now, from A to C, well, because we know that the ratio of A to B to A to C is 2 to 3, I know this line is 2 parts and the whole line would be 3 parts. So if I take my 6 and I divide it by 2, I get 3. And if I take that 3 and multiply it by 3 parts, I get 9. So I know that the length of this line is 9. So to go horizontally from 1 across 9, we're going to get the horizontal position or the x coordinate of the point C to be 10. Now, let's consider vertically. Now, if we go down from A to B vertically, well, we're going to go from 9 down to 5, so it's going to be going down 4. Now, if we go from A all the way down to C, then that would be the decrease that we want to find. So from A downwards to B is 4. Now let's find the distance from A down to C. So I know this line is two parts, so the whole line would be three parts. So if we do four divided by two, that's going to be equal to two, and then two times three is equal to six. So if we go down six from A, we're going to get C. So A has got a height of nine. If we go down six, we would get three. And that means the coordinates of the point C would be 10, three. Now there's another way to this question. Okay, another way to consider this question would have been to consider the ratio. So we had A to B to A to C. So that's from A to B is two parts, and the whole way is three parts. So that means that from A to B would be two, and from B to C would be one. Because obviously if the whole way is three, and this is two parts, then this extra bit is one part. So that means that the distance from B to C is half of the distance from A to B. So let's consider how we would get from A to B. So horizontally, we're going from 1 to 7, so that's going 6 across. And we're going from height of 9 down to height of 5, so that's going to be going 4 down. 
So that means that to get from B to C, we would do half of that because it's half of the distance. So rather than going six across, we're going to go three across. And rather than going four down, we're going to go two down. So if we have the point C where well, we're going to go three across from B, so that's going to be 10. And we're going to go two down from five, so that's going to be three. So the coordinates of the point C is also 10 and three. So you'll find in these ratio questions, there's often more than one way to tackle them. Right, so let's have a look at our next example. So we've been given that A is the point minus 20, minus 7, and B is the point 16, 11, and they're joined by a straight line. P is on AB, and the ratio of AP to PB is 4 to 5. Work out the coordinates of the point P. So the first thing I would tend to do in a question like this is to do a sketch. Now we're going from minus 20, minus 7, up to 16, 11. So it's going to look something like that. And we've got the point A, we've got the point B, and P is slightly closer to A than it is to B, so I'm going to put it there in this question. And we've got the point A is equal to minus 20 minus 7, and B is equal to 16, 11. And we've been asked to work out the coordinates of this point. Right, so let's consider horizontally first of all. So if we look at the x coordinates, we've got negative 20 and we've got 16. So the difference between those is equal to 36. So the difference horizontally is 36. And we've been told that P is on the line such that AP to PB is in the ratio of 4 to 5. So in other words, this point here, this line would be 4 parts to 5 parts. So let's divide 36 in the ratio of 4 to 5. So for, uh, 4 plus 5, first of all, adding the ratio together is 9. And 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. And then we're going to do 4 times 4 and 4 times 5. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So that means that from A to P, we're going to go 16 horizontally. And if we go another 20 horizontally, we would get to B. So negative 20 plus 16, well, negative 20 plus 16 would be minus 4. And let's just check if we had minus 4 and we added 20, yet we would get to 16. So if we've considered it horizontally, we've got the x coordinate, now let's get the y coordinate. So considering vertically, we're going from minus 7 all the way up to 11. So it's going to be a rise of 18. And again, P is going to be on this line such that AP to PB is in the ratio of 4 to 5. So we're going to divide 18 in the ratio of 4 to 5. So 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. And then 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So that means that we're going to go up at 8 to get to the point P. And then we're going to go up another 10 to get to the point B. So if we start at A, which has a height of minus 7, if we add on 8, we're going to get the height of P. So minus 7 plus 8 is 1. And let's just check if we do 1 plus 10, we do get 11. So that's correct. So the coordinates of the point P are equal to minus 4, 1. Right, let's have a look at our next example. So our next question says PQR is a straight line. So here we've got a straight line and the point Q must be in between these two points somewhere. And we've been told P is 3, 4 and R is 36, 15. And we've been told that QR is 75% longer than PQ. So Q is going to be along here somewhere so that the distance from Q to R is 75% larger than the distance from P to Q. So I'm going to put it around here somewhere so that this distance is about 75% larger than this distance. Okay, so let's call the point Q. And we've been asked to work out the coordinates of that point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ratio. So I'm going to put two values in and I'm going to, it doesn't actually matter which values they are as long as one is 75% larger than the other one. And we're going to simplify it and hopefully get a ratio that we're going to use. So for P to Q, I'm going to call that 100. You could have called it another num other number. So, you, you know, it, it sort of makes sense to choose one that you can work out 75% off quite nicely. So, and I'm going to find the number that's 75% larger than that. So I'm going to, so I'm going to call this distance 175. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that as a ratio. So 100 to 175 and let's simplify it. So I'm going to divide both of these by 5 to get 20 to 35. I'm going to divide both of them by 5 again to get 4 to 7. So that means that the ratio from PQ to QR is equal to 4 to 7 and that's going to be quite useful for us. Okay let's rub out our working out there there and there. Obviously don't do that in a real exam. Okay, now let's consider the horizontal distances. So the, hor the x coordinate of P is 3, and the x coordinate of R is equal to 36. So the distance between them, or the difference between them, is equal to 33. So the distance from P to R is equal to 33. Now we know that the ratio of P to Q to Q to R is 4 to 7. So what we're going to do is divide 33 in the ratio of 4 to 7, and then that will help us work out how further along Q is than P. So 4 plus 7 
is equal to 11. That's great. 33 divided by 11 is equal to 3. So that's 3 in one part. And we're going to do 3 times 4 and 3 times 7. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And 3 times 7 is equal to 21. So that means from the distance horizontally from P to Q is equal to 12. And the distance horizontally from Q to R is equal to 21. So we want to find the X coordinate of Q. So we're going to add 12 onto the X coordinate of P, which is 3. 3 plus 12 is 15. That's great. Now let's work vertically to find the height of the point Q, the Y coordinate of the point Q. So let's work out the difference between the Y coordinate. So the Y coordinate of R is equal to 15 and the Y coordinate of P is equal to 4. 15 to equal 4 is 11. So the difference between their heights is 11. And that's quite nice because we remember we're working with a ratio of 4 to 7. So you want to find this distance from going up from P to the point Q. So we're going to do 11 divided by 11, which is equal to 1. And 1 times 4 is equal to 4 and 1 times 7 is equal to 7. So this this distance will be 4 and this height difference in heights will be 7. So if we want to find the height of the point Q, we're going to add 4 onto the height of the point P, which is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And if we want to check our answer, we can add on another 7 and get the height of R, which is equal to 15. And that's it. So the coordinates of the point Q is equal to 15, 8. So if you've been given that one part of the line is a certain percentage larger or even a fraction larger than another one, you can perhaps create a, a ratio out of that and that might help you out. Okay, let's have a look at our last example now. So we've got a sketch, which is great. So we've got a straight line. We've got A, which is 6Q, B, which is 16, 21Q, and C, which is P, 132. And the question says, A, B, C is a straight line. That's great. It says, A, B to B, C is 5 to 3. So the ratio here is 5 to 3. And the question says, work out P and Q. So we've got to work out this P here and the Q for the, the Y coordinates. Okay, let's start off by looking at the X coordinates to get the value of P. So if we start off looking at the X coordinates, we've got the X coordinate of A is equal to 6 and the X coordinate of B is equal to 16. So that means we're going to be going 10 across to get from A to B. So that means that distance is 10 from A to B. And we want to find the distance from B across to C. And then if we can do that, we can work out our value for P. So we know the ratio of the line AB to BC is 5 to 3. So that means that the ratio of this line to this line is 5 to 3 as well. So it means that the 10 is equal to 5 parts. So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So one part is equal to 2. But we want to find the length of or the distance from B to C. So that's going to be 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So that means that we're going to go 6 across and we're going to find the x coordinate of C. So the x coordinate of C, well, if we start at B, which is 16, and we add on 6, we get that P is equal to 22. So that value is 22. Right, so let's move on to finding Q. So to find Q, we're going to have to look at the Y coordinates. So we've got Q, 21Q, and 132. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to focus on the points A and B here. Because A is got a height of Q and B is got a height of 21Q. So that means the difference in height, so the difference in the Y coordinates between B and A would be 20Q. Taking them away from each other, taking a Q away from 21Q. Now looking at the ratio, a to B is the 5, and B to C, this height, would be the 3. So that means that this line is 5 parts, and this line is 3 parts. So if we take our 20Q, and we divide it by 5, we get 4Q. And if we times that 4Q by 3, so times by 3, we get 12Q. So that means that the difference in heights between B and C would be 12Q. So that means the difference in heights between A and C is 32Q. But another thing to remember is that the point A has a height of Q. So that means that it's Q above the x-axis. So if we look at the point C, it has a y-coordinate of 132, and that means that it's 132 above the x-axis. So if we look at the total height there, that's 33Q. So that means that 33Q is equal to 132. Dividing by 33 will give us Q is equal to 4, and that's it. And one last thing to remember is whenever you're dealing with questions with coordinate geometry with ratio, there may be more than one way to tackle it.